hello everyone uh, today uh, we are discussing on quantization at the end of this session uh, what we expect on students that students will be able to define quantization describe types of quantization they should be able to explain quantization process in detail we are going to cover these the topics definition types of quantization quantization process and quantization error first of all we'll discuss about the basic definition of quantization quantization is the process of constraining an input from a continuous or otherwise large set of values such as the real numbers to a discrete set such as the integers now here what is the actual set of values means what the real uh, sampling values those are converted into a complete integer values the real numbers means what it the, your voltage can be actual real time voltage can be say for example 2.1 volt 3.2 volts etc but when they are converted into discrete or quantized value those are converted to complete integers those are represented to say 2 volts 3 volts those are the known standard levels the analog to digital converter performs this type of function to create series of digital values out of the given analog signal. This signal to get converted into digital has to undergo sampling and quantizing. The quantizing of an analog signal is done by discretizing the signal with a minimum number of quantization levels. Quantization is representing the sampled values of the amplitude by finite set of levels which means converting continuous amplitude sample into a discrete time sign discrete time signal so what are the different types of quantization broadly there are two types of quantization one is uniform quantization also known as linear quantization the other is non uniform quantization also known as non linear quantization the type of quantization in which the quantization levels are uniformly spaced is termed as uniform quantization. Here what we observe in uniform quantization that the difference between the two quantization levels it is almost fixed. The difference between two quantization levels is known as step size. So here in uniform quantization levels, uh, uniform quantization the step size remains constant. Whereas the type of quantization in which the quantization levels are unequal and mostly the relation between them is logarithmic is termed, termed as non-uniform quantization. Here we in the non-uniform quantization we observe that step size are going to vary continuously depending on the input signal requirement or depending on the quantization requirement. There are uh, two types of uniform quantization they are mid rise the other is mid trade you can observe these two figures what change that you observe it looks at first instant you have you observe that they are similar but they are not same at the center you can see here this step is observed over here whereas in the mid trade it is observed over here so in the this is the mid rise the step size is rise in between the two uh, equal it is symmetric about two axes here also it is in the horizontal line there it is symmetric so there are two types of uh, uniform quotation one is known as mid rise the other is known as mid trade now so that is what we are discussed the mid rise type is uh, so called because the origin lies in the middle of a raising part of the staircase like graph the quantization levels in this type are even in number the mid trade type is so called because the origin lies in the middle of trade of the staircase like graph 
the condensation levels in this type are odd in numbers. Both the mid trice and the mid tray type uniform quantizers are symmetric about the origin. Now, let us try to understand the overall quantization process. For this, uh, you are going to follow this diagram. Here, you can see that this is the example that I have shown you here. This is the output and this is your timing axis. So these are the input signals. This is what the input signal sample. Here, these are the sampling instances, T1, T2, T3, and these are the sampling instances. Sampling uh, instances, that all depends on the sampling frequency. The sampling frequency must be at least the twice of maximum input signal frequency that it has to follow. Whatever I have shown with the yellow lines, those are the quantization levels. The difference between two quantization levels is the step size. So how we let us try to understand the basic process of the quantization. Here, you can observe here, here T1, the sample, the sample at time instant T1, you observe that the sampling value is 1.8 volts. T2 is 2 volts, T3 is 3.1 volt, and T4 uh, is 4.4 volts. These are the actual sample values. These are the actual sample values. Now, what exactly happens in the quantization? Now, it observes that, for example, the first case, that is at the time instant T1, since the real value is 1.8 volt, so it is approximate to 2 volts. Why? It is because the 1.8 volt, it is in between standard value 1 and 2. Now here the comparison takes place. So one, it observes that 1.8 volt is more closer to 2 volt than the 1 volt. So it is approximate to 2 volt. Like that, uh, for 2 volt there is no problem. It is taken as it is. For 3.1 volt, for 3.1 volt, it is in between 3 and 4 volts. So it is more closer to 3 volts. So it is approximate to 3. So like that, for 4.4, it is approximate to 4 volts. So this is how the actual sample value, those are quantized, approximated to known standard values. So these are a real time number, real values, and these are complete integer values. So here what we can see here, it is a linear quantization or uniform quantization where we observe that step sizes are fixed, step sizes are fixed. So the variation between, the relation between input and output, it is linear in nature. Okay, so this is what is the process of quantization. Now, let us, uh, this is a, an a example that details have been shown. This again, the input signal, and this is what is the quantization tech press. Now, when this quantize, the quantized output signal will look like this. So this is actually the quantized signal. So, now here, when we say that, when we are going to quantize, there is always the difference between the actual sample value and quantized value. And the difference is known as quantization error. So, so for any system during its functioning, there is always a difference in the values of its input and output. The processing of the system results in an error, which is the difference of those values. So the difference between an input value and its quantized value is called quantization error. A quantized quantizer is a logarithmic function that performs quantization. That is the rounding of the value. So ADC is the one example of the quantizer. Now, this is what is the example that has been shown. This is your input signal. When it is quantized, so it is going, it will look like this. And the difference between the, these two, that is actually the quantization error. So output quantization noise signal can be uh, can be uh, it will at, it will appear as like this. Now, what is non-uniform quantization? Non-uniform quantization. Uh, again, it is what we observe that the step size is going to vary. So here, in the non-uniform quantization, what you can see here is that the relation between the input and the output that has been shown. This is the case of the linear quantization. So what we what exactly happened? That at the transmitter, some non-linearity has been observed here. 
and it will look like this. So this technique is known as a compression technique. Generally, this uh, technique is adopted in PCM system to minimize the contraction error. And exactly the reverse procedure is performed at the receiver and that is known as expansion. So this is a compression and this is a expansion. There are two commonly used uh, non-uniform contractions are there. One is known as ALA, the other is known as MULA. So both are non-linear quantizing uh, characteristics you can see here. So for A law, for the value of when A is equal to 1, it is the case of linear or uniform quantization. The value can go on increase. So accordingly, the characteristics of this compression that also changes. And the maximum value of that is 85.5. Whereas for mu law, the, it ranges from 0 to 255. For the value 0, it appears as a linear and when it is 255 it is a maximum value. So here what we can observe, the steps are, step sizes are going to vary continuously. So this is what all about uh, non-uniform quantization. So here the word compounding, that is what is used in PCM, it is a combination of compressing and expanding, which means that it does both. This is a non-linear technique used in PCM which compresses the data at the transmitter and expand the same data at the receiver. The effects of noise and crosstalk are reduced by using this technique. So there are two types of compounding, just now we have studied. One is A-law and Mu-law. Uniform quantization for A-law, when A is equal to one, the characteristic curve is linear and no compression is done. A-law has mid-rise at the origin, hence it contains non-zero value. A law compounding is mostly used in PCM telephony system. For mu law compounding technique, uniform quantization is achieved at value mu is equal to zero, where the characteristic curve is linear and no compression is done. Mu law has mid rate at the origin, hence it contains a zero value. Mu law compounding is used for speech and music signals.